welcome another very very close and dear friend shayoni gupta great to have you here wonderful Thank to you. really have you here and you know shayoni we having a wonderful time also interacting with some brilliant young minds you're going to be blown with these children very heartening to see young people coming up with such interesting solutions to make india swasth we're in conversations with the winners of the white heart junior swasth bharat tech champs do remember 10700 plus and now we've got the 50 winners we've spoken to some of the winners some more you're going to interact with every one of them has impressed us so much more so on to the next winners shayoni are you ready absolutely fa- i'm i'm so excited rajiv really So the first one I'm going to introduce to you is Soham Saxena. Soham plays badminton, basketball with his friends. Absolute must for him every evening. However, wow. his play time was actually cut short by, of course, the pandemic. I think for all of us. And like most kids, Soham was stuck at home and deprived of his favorite part of the day. That's when he noticed that most of his friends were spending more time playing video games at home as they couldn't really get out at all. He wanted to create an app that would encourage people, especially kids, to get moving again. So his app is called Habit Sim or Sim. So the first one that I want to ask him, a very very important one is incredible idea. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, thank you. So first I th- uh, saw many of my friends they were just sitting at their homes and playing video games and absolutely they were doing nothing and I wanted to uh, motivate them and get up and do like at our age we should get up and play outside rather than staying at home and stuck on our phones so I thought that we could make an app uh, to motivate them to get up and uh, do some more physical activity and the app can help them track their uh, food intake water intake sleep etc oh. wow. wow i feel you've made this app for me and i need to quickly uh, get on to this you're you're incredible so um Thank you. Okay, next up is Shifa Esther Leal. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Shifa. Very very curious she says, you know, from grade 6 student from Durgapur West Bengal, very curious about everything. She also plays the violin. She started playing the piano all by herself using just YouTube tutorials. Currently, she wants to become a pilot although her family says she would be excellent, excellent as a gamer or a pro coder. Now, Shifa's app is called Menstugram. Very interesting name. App design to raise awareness on a very important topic that doesn't give get enough coverage menstrual health and hygiene the app is extremely helpful now to young girls everywhere but listen can you tell me a little bit more about menstugram Uh, thank you so much for appreciating my app actually when i looked around among my friends and girls elder to me uh, they have uh, there is a taboo about menstruation so they are not feeling comfortable to talk about it and are hesitant to talk about it and many of their myths and misconceptions are not clear so i cl- created this app so that they can uh, type the doubts in my faq page and the answer is there and my app is also in two languages english and hindi and it also spreads awareness about uh, the importance of menstrual hygiene unhygienic practices of menstrual hygiene can lead to many diseases like uh, infertility cancer and uh, tuberculosis so it spreads uh, awareness about it you know it's incredible that a uh, girl of 12 like you has thought about this done something about it and continues to do uh something that is you know really landmark i just want to really 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 thank you from the bottom of my heart and i'm so inspired really thank you so much uh i want to ask you something else what do you enjoy more gaming coding uh is that something you would want to pursue because i don't think there are a lot of i haven't heard of a lot of women gamers as well um you know uh so is that something that you would want to pursue uh, as a career uh yeah i used to do gaming i still uh, do gaming i i spent a uh, like a lot of time uh, on laptop so my mom introduced me to coding and uh, i started making games different type of games and apps so i can become like a game developer as well and a gamer as well so i love doing wow. both 
Okay, and Shifa, I have to ask you, uh, 10,000 plus kids participated, only 51, you're one of them. So who was the most thrilled in your family? Especially my mom, she's like over the moon, she's sharing everything on the social media handle and she's really happy for me. And uh, like she was with me with the whole journey, like from participating till submitting the app, so... Mm, fantastic so <laughs> Shifa uh, you are amazing and your mom must be so proud uh, she's done an incredible job thank you okay next up is Prane, uh, Prane Sina Karpuram Prane very very witty 10th grader who loves basketball and coding Prane sees coding as a game of problems and solutions Prane's app is called Leukemia Drug Tracker the inspiration for making Leukemia Drug Tracker comes from Prane's mother who's a doctor working with an NGO that treats leukemia patients. So very, very well thought out in every which way, right? Absolutely. Thank you, Pranay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why did you think of creating an app like Leukemia Drug Tracker? What are the problems that you saw that inspired you to do this? As you had mentioned, my mother works with an NGO called Impact who treats children with cancer and helps them receive treatment for leukemia. So while we were having conversations, she stated the problem that they weren't able to give their blood counts properly and there was a lot of mistakes in communication. So then I thought, why not make an app for it? And now we have the product. Fantastic. You you are helping people in need. And uh, is it something that you want to take to the future? What are your future plans? What is it that you want to do in life? Uh, I'm, I'm very, very curious. Yeah, so definitely I want to take this app forward. There's a lot of scope for improvement in this app and for development. And purely based on this app, I really want to take this to the fullest extent and finish it as much as I can. Thank you for doing this, what you're doing. Yeah. So tell me, your mother must be extremely proud of you, right, for creating an app like this. What did she say when you actually went about and created something so well thought out, so deeply thought out? Yeah, so obviously she is very happy with the way the app is shaping up. She's feeling very proud. She's sharing the links of everything to all the WhatsApp groups, all my parents, my long relatives whose names I don't even know. So basically, <laughs> everyone, so she's very proud, to say the least. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Thank you, Prana. Thank you. And say hi to your mom. Thank you very much. All right. Next, we're going to talk to Hriday Mittal. And Hriday is 11 years old only, sixth standard from Muzaffar Nagar, multi-talented child, loves coding, playing cricket, football, and of course, video games. It has completed all six levels in Abacus and also holds a green belt in karate, so he'll be careful about the questions we ask him. He's highly fascinated by mythological stories as well, aspires to become a cricketer and a coder once he grows up. Hriday's app is called Breathe. The inspiration behind this app arose from the need to find and locate hospitals, hospital beds and medical help during the pandemic, which of course is the most important thing that was happening at that time. So, Trayani, I'm going to leave the first question to you. Thank you. Hi, Riday. Hi, ma'am. So, I want to ask you, uh, what is that one thing that gives you the most joy when you do it? You know, from playing to karate to... Um, coding to everything that you're doing. Mom, one thing that I like the most besides uh, coding is playing cricket. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Let's talk about Breathe. Tell us a little bit about the reaction from your family that you did this. So, uh, the family was so glad to listen my idea and they supported me uh, to make this app uh, and make the uh, idea successful. Uh, mostly my father and my teacher of White Hat. Okay, fantastic. All right, next up is Anvi Sharma. Anvi, very imaginative eighth grader from Faridabad. Anvi's app is called Switch to Bliss. It helps people with addiction issues engage in productive habits and new behavior to overcome their addiction. The app asks users about their addiction and their hobbies and their interests to suggest content that would actually engage them and motivate them to pursue healthier interests. Now, Anvi, absolutely amazing that you think of something like this. Incredible that you came up with something like this. But my first question to you is, how did you think of a specific subject like this? How did that come to your mind? 
Yes, first of all, it's great honor to speak in front of such great personalities. Human beings are the only species that get encumbered by their own creations, right? So, meaning one way or other, humans get addicted to things they uh, themselves create. So, this is the basis of my app, Switch to Bliss. The uh, inspiration to uh, create this came to me during the lockdown when uh, all of us were restricted to our homes. All around I observed that lockdown had significant bad impact on well-being and negative impact on happiness. So it led many insecurities in people, losing their jobs, finances. To escape the reality or cope up with the surroundings, people took solace by resorting to addiction. So that instead of mitigating the problem, uh, made it acute. Fantastic, Anmi. What kind of research went into this before you came up? How did it sort of uh, work out, basically? For my app, Switch to Bliss, I had to research on first, like, what are the various factors that have likelihood of developing the addiction. So the top causes that came up were loneliness, uh, dwindling self-confidence, and uh, escape uh, the peer pressure to escape reality and overcome their insecurities. So these factors drive us towards compulsive habits, which are used as a coping mechanism to deal with uncertainties of life. So uh, I also researched that what is the state of mind people indulging in addiction. So the various ways to overcome war, uh, I first uh, found out that first to acknowledge the problem, then self-evaluating and then generating the new behavior. Based on my research, uh, I have created in my app. So in a nutshell, for the conclusion, I would say transcend the users to blissful state, meaning my app switch to bliss. Mm. Wow, you are just so inspiring. I'm, I'm so in awe right now, honestly. Our society uh, needs this because addiction is such a, such a terrible thing that, uh, you know, you know, people in from all age groups um, are suffering from. So thank you for doing this and thank you for helping so many people. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. And of course, I'm going to now take the time out to also thank another great inspiration, my friend Shayoni. Thank you so much for joining us and taking some time. It was brilliant. Thank you, I know Rajiv. that. I know that we inspired you more through the children, but otherwise also thank you so much for being with us. I'm sure they also took back so much from you. Thank you for having me, you and the TV, all of you. This was really like a vitamin booster shot. Thank you so much to Shayoni and thank you so much to all you 50 children that joined me right now, to the 10,774 who participated, every one of you were absolutely incredible, inspiring in every which way and we really hope to do this annually and we hope that from 10,000 we get 20,000 entries next year. This is our future being unrolled right now. These are the children that will take over the world and we've already seen the kind of incredible ideas that they will actually bring to us. I think the world is in very safe hands with all of them. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.